All right, guys, welcome to your unique devotion again today. Uh, we're going to go kind of lightning round here. Um, this is going to be a plea for purity. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, um, only verses 1 and 2. There, there's more to this section, but something just sort of stood out, so that's where I stopped. Um, so, Scripture. Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God, for you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. So, how do you walk? You know, it says here that just as you received from us how you ought to walk, and to please God. So there's there's some instructions how to walk, um, how to go through life, and and in doing so, how it pleases God. And as I go through my day today, I'm just going to check my walk and see if there are any areas that God might find unpleasing. And even if that's at the end of the day on ref a little reflection time and looking back and, and seeing where I could have maybe done better, um, that'll help me learn uh, for next time to maybe walk a little nicer, walk a little gracefully, walk a little more gently with my words, you know, whatever comes up. Um, and, you know, it stinks when we get things wrong. Life is messy. But the beauty of it is we have the ability to reflect and learn. And when we do those sorts of things, we end up growing in them. And uh, hopefully those those wrongdoings, that messiness, kind of gets minimalized. It gets less and less. Not that it's going to be perfect from here on out, um, but that we maybe don't do it as often. And we see the change in our own lives, and hopefully others see that change also. So, the question on my mind today, how do I walk? Meaning, how do I go through life with, with God? And that's the question for you. How do you walk? How do you go through life with God. So on that note, I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, even more so all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. That was a short one. Haven't had one for a while. Uh, tomorrow we will continue First Thessalonians chapter 4. I'll see you then.